Hi guys, uh, I'm going to be doing a video on uh, mini blinds install and I um, wanted to show you my tools and how I organize everything because I think organization is a very key component to doing um, DIY hardware construction kind of work. Um, a lot of the people I have helped me work on my house, misplace my tools, and Think about it, the downtime could be significant. Like you could be spending half an hour to find a tool, 15 minutes here to find a tool, 20 minutes here to find a tool, five minutes here to find a tool. You could be spending two hours of your day looking for tools. So staying organized is important. And I've been improving this organization process as I go along. So I wanna show you my latest and greatest in terms of organization. So what I have here is, um, I got this at the Dollar Tree and I have three of them. And this crate is serving as my, um, I'll just show you. It's kind of serving as my tool set for cordless drills. So I've got three of them here. This one here is a Home Depot product. It is a rigid brand cordless drill and it works really nicely. It's got kind of like a really nice um, screw on. When you turn it real tight, it kind of clicks in and then locks in place. This one here is a DeWalt impact wrench. And what's cool about this one is it has a lot more torque power than this one here. So this one actually is a really good um, all around tool and I'll use it to drill in um, uh, screws that are having a hard time getting in with this one here. This one here is a backup. I got this at um, Menards. So between this one, this is $100 and this one here is like 20, to thirty dollars, way cheaper. Uh, does the same thing, but it just doesn't have a nice feel when you use it. I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't have a lock-in um, place the way this one here. This one will like lock in real, real tight at the tip. This one sometimes it loses its grip on the um, whether it's a, a drill bit or um, a screw. Uh, what do you call it? Like um, a bit that goes on there. And this one here. Um, I don't know where else I wanna go with this. So uh, what else I got? This one here, it's a nice organization set with all my drill bits that will go with this, with all these. And I also put my drill bits in here. I also have my hex nut wrench drivers. Two of them are the most commonly used. This one is a 5 16th. And this one here, is I believe it's a quarter. Yeah, it's a, it's a quarter inch. And then um, I'm just thinking here, most commonly used tools, and this crate is the most commonly used tools. I'm going to be adding a measuring tape, um, a razor to cut things open, um, a Sharpie pen to mark things and measure mark, and a hammer, and then in here I have uh, my most commonly used screw, which is a construction screw. I've repurposed this self-drilling um, screw set. This is what's left over in here. And I have my um, drywall screws. I've got a few more hex nut wrenches here, but what I've done is I've really replaced these with the ones over here that are magnetic because um i mean these are more expensive but they're well worth it because instead of having the um screws drop on the ground every time you're trying to put it in and you could be working in a very tight space and it could literally drop like 10 times seriously it would drop because you're in a tight space and you pick it up and you put it in and you screw it in and it keeps just dropping out and when you're trying to drill it in this will save you time and money in the long run and this only costs, I think, like $3 each or like $3, $4 for like a set of them, like on a discount at Menards. Whereas these were like, I think these were like $1.25 each. So, and it's also good to get these uh, magnetic at the tip. They're more expensive again, but they save you long, a, a lot of time in the long run. And I'll tell you how much time you save. I was not using these self-drilling sheet metal screws before, and it took me a whole day to do duct work for my HVAC. 
Now that I use these self drilling screws, I could get that same job done in an hour. Like literally, so like an eight hour, 10 hour job will become a half hour, one hour kind of job. So 10 times of times of time savings. Now this box here is a bunch of titanium drill bits. And basically I have like two of the most common ones I use, like maybe this one and this one here, and maybe this one here. And I put them into my other box here. So it's all ready to go. But if it breaks, then I'll take um, some in here and I'll put it over there. I also put in here, um, this is a concrete drill bit. And this one actually cuts through uh, galvanized pipe. But my replacement for this now is using a four inch grind cutting grinder blade or not grinding blade it's a four inch um cutting blade that goes on the angle grinder so i won't be using that or needing that as much anymore now um this hack here going to the four inch cutting blade is save will save a ton of money because this blade will go bad this goes on to a um um, they call it a Sawzaw. There's like another name for it. S A W Z A W. That's like the name brand at at Home Depot. But um, I think it's reciprocating saw. And um, if you end up using this, this is like this is a cheap version of the blade, just because it's the Menards brand of it. This is probably like a seven dollar blade. Well, I used to use twenty dollar blades, and then I'd have to throw it away after using it one time, like cutting a two inch galvanized pipe, a $20 blade, throw it out, throw it away. And that job would take 45 minutes. So now I use a angle grinder. I can cut it through in five minutes and I can reuse the blade, reuse the blade, reuse the blade, um, the cutting blade on the angle grinder. And that blade only costs $1. So $1 blade, multiple cuts. You could probably do like 10 cuts with it. And it will be a five minute job rather than a nearly one hour job. And then the dust that you produce when you use the wrong tools, you have more cleanup too. So, um, okay, this one right here, I will be using, it's a hammer drill. And you can get this for like about $20 at Menards. If you end up going to Home Depot, you literally will be probably paying like $80 for this thing. Um, now this is like a cordless drill, but What's good about it is it uses more amps, 4.5 amps, so it's a lot more powerful. I was using this to cut um, concrete. Uh, I, was, I was using a um, these uh, uh, drill bits, and I was trying to drill into concrete with this. And it just, for some reason, was like cutting through like butter. It was cutting really well. And I, I went back to using... I just wanted to see, hey, like, how does this compare to using a cordless drill? Because I'll use one of these or or even a corded, let's say a corded drill. I have a corded drill like this, but it's like the hammer drill, but it's a corded drill. And it has a higher revolutions per second because I looked on the label here. This is zero to 2,800 per minute. On the corded drill, it says... 3000 per minute this one won't it'll rotate maybe a little bit slower but it's got a lot more power so it'll it'll break through um really tough stuff so i decided hey look i should keep this type of tool for um well today what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be cutting through the mini blind and i know the best like cosmetically the best is probably to put the end caps on this and then install the end cap then put this into the end cap bracket to hold the blind. But my hack, um, what I'd done is I'd installed these ones here and um, I went through the metal on the back side of it so you don't really see the, the hole. Um, so instead of buying caps and spending perhaps another five to $10 for each one and you have like 10 blinds, so you spend like $50 just for like these end caps. You drill it in the back. Um, metal plate area this one's plastic but the new one's metal and some of these are metal so using the titanium drill bit or maybe even the concrete um, drill bit and then breaking through that um, material in the back and just drilling and screwing it in um, will hold it well in place 
So I'll be replacing this one here because it's not long enough. See that? And I wanted to show you the blinds. The new blind that I'm putting in is this one here. And I got 10 of these at Goodwill, believe it or not. I got lucky. Um, I got 10 of these and they sell it by the pound. It's like $1.29 per pound of general merchandise that you get there. So I got this and a lot of other stuff. I ended up spending about $120 at, at, um, at Goodwill. It was like my biggest purchase. But I got 10 blinds, I got these work boots, I got um, two helmets, working helmets. I got a miter saw thing that holds um, like a handsaw, just extra tools. I got two belts, um, I got some jackets for winter. I got just a whole bunch of stuff. I, I would estimate I probably got like two, uh, what's 5% of that? I probably got like $2,000 worth of stuff for about $100 at um, at the Goodwill here. And that, well, the Goodwill here is a really good deal. Not every Goodwill is going to give you stuff like this because that, let's say that's three pounds, I probably paid like $5 for it. And if you got that new, it probably costs like $80, $90 for just one blind. Um, or now I only had to pay about five dollars for that, so that's that's a really screaming good deal, and I was just lucky. Um, I can't say that that's going to happen every time, but um, it's worth shopping. I would say for if you don't have a Goodwill like mine, where you can get such a screaming good deal, you can definitely get um, blenders. You can um, some thrift stores sometimes sell um, appliances. I haven't done that yet. I haven't purchased appliance there, but it may be worth a try. Um, oh, power tools maybe, but there may be missing parts and you don't know how well it's going to work. But um, what else? Like you could probably get a toaster oven. Mm, so kind of household wares would work pretty easily at most Goodwills or thrift stores. But uh, if you go to thrift stores and you just look around in your area, it's worth checking out the hardware area. You might get some knick knickknacks. You might get like um, some hardware stuff, like leftover screw. You could get like a measuring tape. You get, I don't know. I don't know what you'll find. You just have to kind of look. And if you can go there anyway for a few other things, you might run across something that's useful. So hope that helps. And so uh, mainly organization and maybe I'll do another video on how to actually set up the mini blinds. But I think that's um, that's going to be a little bit more uh, detail oriented. I just kind of want to focus on getting my job done today. So hope that helps and you guys have a great day.